What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Gus and this is Kelly Rebuildables. Okay guys, so um this video we're gonna be working on the on the Buick. Um uh, I need to pull that ten that, that den out, but um for that I need to buy a special tool. They sell it at, at Harbor Freight or Harbor Freight. You know, it's one of those tools to like a press, like a hydraulic press to um, push the dents out. Uh, you'll see it right now. I'm gonna go to the store and try to see if I find one. This is what I was what I was talking to you guys about. This hydraulic press thing, jack, whatever it's called. 139. Or this one. 10 ton for 199. And this one is 8,000 pounds for 139. I saw them for a hundred bucks, that's why I came, but um, let me see if I can find the coupon. Okay guys, so, bought it, so now it's time to go home and see if it works. Okay guys, so we're home, it's already pretty dark, but I'm very impatient, so I'm gonna try it. As you can see, I have this thing in here, but I gotta replace this front one and add an extension. I don't think I'll be able to do it one handed so Let me tell you guys that this thing is awesome. This thing is awesome, but um, I do regret not getting the ten um ton because this is the the four thousand pounder, so it's like two tons. But um, they do sell the ten ton for um. 199 this one was 136 it came out to 150 total with taxes but i do regret like i said i do i do regret not buying the um the 10 ton one because well i mean this one works perfect but if this one works perfect the other one oh man it's gonna be way way better um so if you guys are thinking of buying one of these just go ahead and buy the the um 10 ton one if you know money's kind of a problem then you know go ahead and buy something like this small one because it does work let me show you guys the progress on this thing remember this thing was pushed in now it's pushed out so this is a lot of work well not a lot of work but um, it saved me a lot of work so I know it looks bad, but it, I mean it's pushed out, not not as it used to be. So now the problem that I'm having is this. So I'm gonna have to probably tack this thing, tack it back in, or screw it back on. But first, um, because the only thing it had was was rivets. So and the glue, you can see the rivets right here. Let me show you the inside. See, you can see the other side of the rivet. So, um, the, only, the only thing holding this panel is the glue. Um, is is the only thing that's holding it the bolt, the the polyurethane, the caulking, and the rivets. So, um, I could easily fix that thing back up. But um, now this is a problem, and this little buckle right here. So I'm gonna see if I could push this thing out a little bit more. To get rid of this buckle so let me put you guys on hey guys so i just got this package in the mail as you can see you can tell from who it is avalon king avalon king.com your vehicle your passion so three more kits 
This is the one that, I'll, that I'm gonna be using on the on the rebuild, guys. On the Jeep and the um and the Buick. So this thing is pretty cool. If you wanna go check them out, go to Avalon Kings, AvalonKing.com, um, and use promo code Kelly25, and you'll get twenty-five dollars off. Nice little package. I'll leave the link in the description too. Okay guys, as you can see, I was hitting it down um, with the with the hammer, but now it went back back in too much, so now I gotta bring this whole section out again. As you can see, this top, this one's looking good. This one's looking okay, but this bottom piece still needs to be pushed out a bit. Um, it is gonna look ugly, but I mean, it is gonna be underneath the. The, um, what's it called? The bumper, so you won't even see this. I'm just trying to, to make it as to match that other side um, the best possible, so the so the bumper could um you know lay over this all this stuff pretty pretty easy. So let me continue hammering hammering it down and, and pushing this side out. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it that I'm gonna do in this corner. It seems to be okay. I'm just gonna probably just paint this um, just to make sure um, to prevent it from rust, but this rail seems to be okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install this back on. And maybe the tail light because, um, well, I do have that driver's side tail light, tail lamp, but um, I don't know if it's gonna interfere with the bumper. But we'll see. I'll probably um, install this for sure and the, the the tail lamp. And if it interferes with the bumper, then I'll just remove the tail lamp. I'm waiting for this side for um, this tail lamp and the bumper. Everything's bolting on perfectly. Let me show you guys. Everything's in place. Because um, the frame rail didn't got damaged at all. So um, everything's okay. I'm just gonna get the impact and tighten this thing up. Okay, we just got a package, but nothing in here because I already have it outside. Check the Jeep out. So, it's the tail lamp that I'm about to install, but I still need to push this side, this little piece inside a little bit more with the hammer. Uh, everything right there is digging okay. I'm gonna add some more um, polyurethane on the, on the cracks and stuff like that, um, but I'm Beyond that, these things won't be seen, so I don't, I don't have a problem with this. Pretty solid. Um, this corner came out pretty good, also. This one's broken, 
so I'll, I should be having this in the mail anytime soon now too. Um, beyond that, this is the tail lamp. I installed this side also, so this side we ain't got no problem on this side, as you can see. Um, no problem at all. I'm not gonna lock this because I don't know where the keys are at, but I'm gonna hit it with the hammer. Right here, as you can see, this little buckle right here, this one. So I'm gonna hit that one inside and hit that in and see what what happens. I still need to pop that thing out too. Um, so maybe I haven't done actually no body work on that. Just pushing that that corner out. That's about it. Um, but I'll go check also if the bumpers here. So let me work on that. Okay, so this is where we're at. I just received the the bumper as you can see, same color, used. So I'm gonna unpackage it and try to install it right now. Here we are, about to install it. And just like that, that's how it looks. Um, let me know what you guys think. First test drive. So there's the first test drive, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think. I still need to do some of the body work. I used the, the dents and stuff like that, scratches. Um, but overall, it's already um, put back together. The other stuff are just minor details. Like I said, the little dents and stuff like that. I'm still thinking about if I should, you know, pop that thing out. Um, with the puller and then just bundle it but i'm i'm gonna wait for that a little bit just if i if there's another way to do it i know there's dentless um was it painless dent um repair things but um i'm gonna try to see something else but, um, i'm gonna wait on that i'm not gonna buy none of those tools i'm gonna see if i could fix it or pull those dents out um using any other tools that i have um, but yeah let me know what you guys think this is not the end for the for the buick we're still gonna use you're still gonna be seeing more of the Buick um, later on because there's, like I said, there's more things to do to it. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Um, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. I'll, I like replying to your comments and see you guys in the next one.